Um, I thought that, you know, even though our offense obviously was struggling, um, you know, we didn't give into that and we gave ourselves a chance because we continued to compete on the defensive end of the floor. Um, and that's what you have to do, right? Offense is not always going to be where we would like it to be. Shots aren't always going to fall. But can you make it close enough at the end of the game because of your defense that a possession matters and one shot matters? And we know we have guys that are capable of making shots out of stretch. Obviously, throughout this season and going back to last year, we've talked about the importance of the defensive identity. But did you just see anything different tonight um, that has been building in that area, I guess? Well, I, mean, I think, again, the guys have embraced it. And, you know, ups, downs, you know, they know who they are. Um, and, you know, that's why we gave ourselves a chance tonight. It was be simply because of that. And, you know, their commitment to it and their scrap and grit um, and mental toughness to, like, persevere when things just weren't going their way and we made enough plays down the stretch. Dan. Danny Cunningham, yes, being included. JB, how important were the minutes that will how old were you guys tonight? Um, I mean, he was on both sides of the ball, extremely impactful. You know, his ability to pick guys up full court, uh, get deflections, move his feet, keep people in front of him, be disruptive. Uh, and then again, there were times where we were struggling offensively where he found a way to get a bucket. Um, so he was huge for us tonight. Was the go-ahead basket by Evan the play that was drawn up in the huddle, or was that something that was kind of altered on the floor? It was the initial part of it was the play, and then you know obviously we attacked and the play broke down, uh, but they did a great job of recognizing how to create space, uh, and then Donovan did a great job of delivering the ball, and then Evan hit the clutch one. Spence. Spencer Davies, basketballs.com, going off of the, the Evan thing. For him to hit that shot in that moment, do you think that can help him kind of get going just as far as making those shots when he, they have Yeah, I mean, again, you ch check his track record. You know what I mean? Like, he's hit big shots in fourth quarters for us, um, you know, since he got here. He's made big plays for us in the fourth quarter. You know, he, he's got, you know, the winning gene, and you know, that's why he's impacted winning from day one. Um, you know, again, tonight, obviously, it's a tough one. First game back against a really good defensive team. Um, you know, that made it tough on us. But I thought, again, to have the courage to take that shot and the ability to knock it down was huge. And you fancy yourself someone who enjoys ugly games there in the past. <laughs> was this kind of along those, those lines? And, and do you enjoy being in those types of scraps? Yeah, I mean, you enjoy the competition of it. You know, I wish every game we could win by 20 points. But, um, you know, like, the competition of having to do all the little things over and over again, having to accept individual challenges, having to accept team challenges, like and having to scrap and fight for it. Um, you know I mean, like that's the purity of competition. And, you know, it's not always pretty, but, um, you know, if you have that fortitude, you can find a way to get it done. Evan, Evan Dave, I'll break down to you, but JD, you guys only scored 33 points in the first half. What was the message to your guys to kind of just I mean, we just had to keep playing. Um, and then we had to trust what was in front of us. You know, I thought they did a great job. And you, know, you look at it, I mean, they had five guys in the paint the entire night. Uh, so we weren't going to be able to get the attacks that we would like and, you know, get the play to our bigs and the pick and roll that we typically get. Um, so we had to move the ball. We had to kick it, and then guys had to be confident enough to take shots and make shots. And then we needed to pick up the tempo some. Um, I thought we did do a good job of getting stops, but then we started running more and finding easier opportunities before their defense was able to get set. So uh, that was the adjustment. I thought we did a good job of it. And was Jared taking a three-pointer by design, or is that just the flow of the offense? That was Jared Allen. He works on it, though. I'll give him that. Uh, Mitch Spinell, 92 through the Fed coach. I mean, when a guy like Karras is able to really get it going, especially late in the game, I mean, the, how big is that for you guys, especially when you were trying to really get back into the contest? Well, I mean, that's why we made the initial deal to get Karras here. Um, the more important the games are, the longer your season is, you need guys who can play one-on-one -on -one basketball and create their own and get it going. Um, and Karras has the ability to do that. And in ugly games like tonight was, um, you know, you're going to need guys who can just beat their man. They do a lot of switching, trying to keep you in front of them. Uh, so you need somebody who can create on their own. And, you know, Karras um, can do that at a high level. Joe. 
Monty was Monty was saying before the game, talking about Evan, that he, some of the comparisons and maybe the pressure that he gets outside is unfair because he, he's not in the same spots that like an AD was when he was that age, Giannis, that, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Um, I, I assume you would probably agree with that. And, and I know you guys are in a, a win-now mode. But with the talent you have offensively on this team, especially with, like, Donovan now, how hard is it to develop at that part of that team? Um, a lot of development, and I'm sure this is what Monty was talking about, was opportunity, right? When you get drafted as high as those guys do, you're typically on a team that's in development mode, and your best players are the ones that are going to get the most amount of reps, the guys with the most potential. Um, what we try to do, and you know, we'll see how it pans out here, is it's not about as much individual development. It's about how much can you impact winning. And you know, we spend a ton of time working on skills and all that stuff, don't get me wrong. But like when Evan's on the floor, how does he impact winning? And like he's a winner by nature, but that's the thing that's most important. Our responsibility and his teammates' responsibility are to still give him the ball and put him in positions to be successful. Um, you know, he is an elite passer for his size. He's a playmaker. You know, he does have one-on-one skills. So we have to, you know, initiate some of that stuff, but. What we're trying to build is never putting one person above the greater success of the team. Um, so it is a balance that you have to work because, you know, again, I've said this before, when we get to our best, I believe Evan can be our most impactful two-way player. Uh, so it's on us to help him get there. Okay. All right.